Good evening, ladies as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here with some more dungeon, man. So we're gonna go ahead and do a mundane dungeon as we work up to what I ultimately want to do here, which is um, avenge the three champions who have died before me. Starting off with a champion fight. Luckily, um, this thing, the raging hate glacier is ridiculously overpowered and I have a feeling that's gonna get nerfed in future patch patches of this game so um that'll be something to happen later uh, we got the snakes room my favorite but for now I get to enjoy the grotesque overpoweredness I feel a little bit embarrassed that uh, when I first started making videos for this game I was like oh yeah there's this class called the necromancer I don't really like it but I guess I'll show it to you sometime and just die just so you can see it. And then of course it turns out to be by far the most overpowered of all the classes that have, we have played. Even more than the Bannermans, at least in the current state. I have a feeling with balance changes the Necromancer would become weak enough that the Bannerman would probably be the strongest of the classes that I've played. It has the highest combination of damage and survivability. Oh jeez. Okay. It's a shooting gallery here. Just, just a bunch of money. Ah! Okay. So, the Necromancer's overpoweredness stems from two things. One is his Raging Hate, hate Glacier is ridiculously strong. It has tons of health and deals tons of damage. Uh, the other is that the way that the enemies are programmed is very bizarre. You, um, they, they just, like, go, like, crazy after your... Let me make a bunch of these. They go, like, crazy after your summons to a absolutely extreme and utterly irrational degree which makes it easy to kill everything that you need to kill what is this undead sharpshooter was oh, that is that mine did I make that no I guess I did huh I guess that's handy probably the undead sharpshooter is better wait it's probably better than the other ones why uh, clearly I don't understand how this ability works the power of them scales with your level. Oh, I see. Okay, so as you level up, that does get stronger. Hmm. That's encouraging. Did they just appear? They all disappeared. <laughs> so it's temporary. Uh, that's a bit lame. The Hate Glacier, whom I summoned at the beginning, is still here. As is the Mostly. But the skeletons, man, I was so excited for a second. Like, oh, they, they, I make archers now. That's so cool. But if they just go away, then that's not as exciting. Ah, all right. There's a champion here. Luckily, it's just Flappy Guts, not a big champion. We'll go, go ahead and uh, do this bandit, and then let's go back and get Flappy Guts. Oh, it's nice that extra dead pulses are summoned because it was a champion. That sound, I keep thinking the hate glacier is going away, but it's not going away. It's just putting armor around itself, which is totally fine by me. That poison is getting pretty strong as well. 29 damage for 8 rounds. Ooh, a bark skin potion. How nice. A long dead end. All right. Do we have anywhere else to go? Uh. Oh, it was right there. So I seems to have explored just about the whole level. I seems. I seem to have explored just about the whole level. There's the staircase down. We got one thing. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to make a uh, hate glacier right off the bat. Generally, it's a good idea to come down with at least four dead pulses into a new level. But. Uh, luckily, because this is a mundane dungeon, the enemies aren't so difficult that I uh, can't kill them with just my weapons, at least for a little bit. Ah, good old carpenter bees. One very interesting thing that I'm not sure is intended is that the curse, this um, volatile liquidity, does not actually cost an action. So it's a very, very nice ability, because it does a ton of damage over many rounds, but still a ton of damage. And, um... Ooh, nice. 
and it gives you mostlies. Okay. What the hell? My hate glacier is actually shooting at somebody. That's nice. No, oh, it died. I was really hoping I could make a mostly out of it. Well, I've got some first world problems here. My hate glacier is killing things before I can turn them into shambling mounds. Ow. Okay. Oh, I did not want to do that. I did not want to do that twice in a row. That was very silly. Alright, well, we'll just go down here. Get the pulse there. Bow over here. Just a regular prance elf. This thing will actually die on its own. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit this thing. Pick up the pulse. Curse it. That'll make it die of poison. Get its pulse. This is a tier 2 artifact. They're just destroying the ice over there. Alright, there's what I want to kill. The spear master. Well, this is encouraging. This level is ranked as adventurous, but it's not too bad. I can pretty much kill all the enemies with just my weapons and my shield. If they're on their own, of course. Oh, something. There's a jibba, jibba jab down there. Where is it? Well, I can't see it. Thank you, Raging Hate Glacier. Gotta get this pulse over here. So that I can curse this guy. Honestly, with the Raging Hate Glacier, I'm not sure I even really need anything. Any of these mostlies. But it's good to have them because like when I ha when I fought against the Ancient King, whom I actually managed to kill, for the first it was my first Ancient King kill in this game. It's a very triumphant moment. I probably wouldn't have won the fight if I hadn't had a whole bunch of mostlies at the beginning of it, you know, taking up some of his turns. I thought it was going to be actually like a cakewalk at the beginning, however, once my mostlies ran out, it was actually kind of a tough battle. I had to use a bunch of scrolls of combat blinking. Alright, let's keep that going. How much does my shield block? 76 points. Not bad, that's like most of my health. Alright, it punched me, and then it died. Okay. Ah, some, somebody's fighting over here. I don't even think it's over here, it's like way down over this way. Alright, I think I want to keep going and exploring the level, because there is this set of doors here that I should check out. And I do want to level up, um, because apparently that makes my summons better. And, ah, you gotta be careful. Let me actually get this guy up here. Yikes, there's two of them? Well, and I'm kind of out of tricks here, because I don't have any pulses. So we're just gonna meander on out of here. Let my mostlies come in, soak up some blows. Now we can curse that one. That went well. Oh, is there stuff over here? There sure is. Okay, so that was that. Anything else to explore? There's this door down there I should check out. It's nice going back through the levels because then I pick up treasure from monsters that I my minions have killed that I missed. Ah, there is a guy there. Um, there's money there. I will go ahead and grab it. Money's a good thing to have. I'm actually wondering if it's better at this point to start selling things rather than smelting them down. Because I already have a lot of tin steel and berlilium and... There's not much I can do with them except for make upgrade hammers. Okay, that clearly did not work. Guess we'll just have to walk manually to the exit. Uh, did I really miss my way? I sure did. Ugh. I don't know what's happening over there. Ah! 
Okay, don't want I don't even, I didn't want to curse that thing because I did want to save up some pulses for the next level. Unfortunately, I didn't save up three, but hopefully I can kill this stuff. This is still adventurous rather than dangerous, which is good. All right, I don't want to step on those. It's not the end of the world to go on one of those things, but I'd rather not deal with it if I don't have to. I actually messed up. I needed to save up to three of these things. And okay. We'll save up one more. There we go. Let's cast the Raging Hate Glacier, an awesomely named minion. Kill that thing off. And now we can start raising our eternal army of shambles. Okay, great. So we have a level up. I wonder if that makes these guys any better. It's still 200 health. All right, let's take a look at skill points. So I could get this, which makes it so that when I spend any pulses, I get a damage bonus on the next attack. It's just for one round though, so I don't know if that's that useful. Now, this thing allows you to curse something so it takes extra damage whenever it gets hit by melee range attacks. I think I'll grab that. This I'm not sure I'm going to take the health drain thing, but I will take that one. So let's put it here. Okay. I guess I should actually see what's happening over here. Let's check over here next. This is the third floor of the dungeon. I haven't really memorized which dungeons have three floors and which have four. So I don't know yet if I'm going to have to go down another floor before I find the final boss. I'm fine with it either way. Ow. I'm gonna keep putting my shield up if I can remember to do so because. Oh, yes, it's the old door at the end of the hallway trick. Because um, sometimes running into a powerful enemy can suddenly end you up without any health before you even realize what's happening. Of course, I say this as I don't have my shield up. Good job, Boris. There we go. Ah! Alright. Here. I think we'll just keep it simple. I'm gonna do this. That'll detonate those guys. Have a pulse. Detonate those guys. Yeah, I don't think I needed to do anything fancy there. Alright, so there is a way down. This is not a three level dungeon. I haven't really explored any of this level, so I am gonna go back and finish exploring at least part of it. Hopefully there's no more hidden portals out there. All right. Aha, there is another path. I'm not sure I'm gonna make more shambling rounds. Actually, uh, I should have made one because I could have picked up most of the pulses. All right, fine, we'll do it. Or, no, the bug. I guess that's it. So that level really didn't have that much more to it. So I guess I shouldn't have spent the pulses after all. Alright, I'm kind of glad. This is one of the few classes where, or pretty much the only class, where it actually is nice that the enemies regenerate and more monsters spawn because it helps you fill up your pulses and save up. So this is actually nice. It gives me my magic fourth pulse, which is important. So now, in this final level of the dungeon, I can make my Raging Cuddle Monster, and I still have one more pulse with which to start my army of shamblers as soon as I find a monster. Ah, he found a Trigger and killed it. Wow, that's pretty impressive there. Pretty impressive indeed. 
those. It, it does regular damage and my, my hate glacier does regular and cold damage. Okay, so here we'll just curse that one. That'll detonate and then kill everything else. Perfect. I should think that thing should probably die before it gets to me, especially because it got frozen. Hmm. I think we're okay here. Let's just do the regular stuff. That thing is gonna get killed by poison anyway, so I'm gonna head back and grab a pulse. So I can curse this one. And then grab a pulse. So that I can curse this wizard I saw back here. Alright. Guys are just gonna keep going crazy until all the ice is dead. Oh, hey, wait. There are actual enemies here. So I wonder, did my skills get bigger? Yeah, I got a little bit bigger. It's 30 damage for eight rounds. And I don't know what actually I make with the grave mooks anymore. Maybe I'll make some and see what happens. I got discount skeleton. Well, at least it's got 60 health. These guys have 180 now. So yeah, these are these are pretty fragile. They're not the best. Shoes. Oh, I don't have any pulses. Okay, I'll have a compromise system. I should at least put a shield on before I open a new door. There. That's a system I can probably commit to. before I pick up my new pulse. This is a champion. Plump Bite. It's actually an adventurous champion. So let me curse it and see how I do. Just toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Mm, Alright, some more pulses came because I kept hitting it. So that means I can curse it again. Alright. Thanks to my shield, I can, in fact, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that guy. We got our chest. Yield to Molar plus two, and a potion. All right, there's a Trigger over here. And then it just gives up on me and goes after my little mounds. Fine, all right, so this area is pretty much explored. There's a door out this way. You should check that out. Turn on your shield, Boris. Oh, it's a dead end, okay. So there must be something. Because... Oh man, that's gonna be a lot of animating. Oh, there's a lot of doors out here. Okay. It's another dead end. Uh, I guess I could go up there and take care of it, but I should be fine. So all I need is one pulse. And another army is on the way. What the hell's happening down here? What is going on? All right, whatever. So, another door. We are on the final level of this dungeon, so the boss has to be somewhere down here. There was a recent run where I was quite shocked to get one-shotted by the champion of a dungeon. That had never happened to me before. I'd always assumed the only things that could one-shot you were the ancient kings. This was an Ice Mage champion with like 2,500 hit points, so I gotta make sure if I see her again, I fight with a little more caution. And by that I mean run completely the fuck away. Alright, so we got this. Seems to be the room. Okay, we'll have... Okay, that was weird. What is... Oh, there's a guy there. Okay, finally. Curse you, but then he's gonna die. So we'll take a moment to shoot that there. 
Now let's curse him. I got another pulse. I got a normal sword. Two-handed weapon champion. I shouldn't have to get next to him, so that whole spinning sword business should not be relevant. I have died to that before. I was like, oh, the thing's spinning swords. Whatever, I'll just ignore it. Who cares? That was my last time making that mistake. Uh, did I just stand next to him? I totally did. Whoops. Okay, let me get away. Put my shield back on. Curse this guy. Where's my hate glacier? Well, it's back here. It's just, uh, not participating at the moment. Oh, there we go. That was a nice bolt. I really would like to just get away from these things whirling blades, if I'm being totally honest. And pick up a pulse. Alright, my gl hate glacier is merrily shooting away. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Alright. Let's go ahead. Oh, wow, this thing had 1200 health. Let's go ahead and make some skeletons. Oh, I really would have loved to see some of those archers again, but I guess that was just one time. Ah, oh, bone sword. I don't know how good it is. Alright. There's another pulse. So I'll go ahead and I'll curse this thing. Hang on a second. Did my hate glacier just die? He totally just died. Um, well, I think I should be able to kill Mr. Dirty Dog Myers here. I think I have enough random thingies back there that shooting him to death shouldn't be a problem. Because he's just going after them hardcore. Okay! That's another dungeon cleared out. Got some pulses for the next one. And we got four pulses for the next place. Seems to be just about all of it. Perfect timing, so let's get back up here. All right, I did some shopping off camera. There's another mundane dungeon. There's another mundane dungeon. And this one should be adventurous, as should this one that I want to avenge at some point. Okay, let's take a look at the time here. 22 minutes, all right. Well, I think we're gonna have time to do one more dungeon. Let's go ahead and clear this one out. The Depths of Secrets. A very cleverly named dungeon. Oh my God, I totally forgot to use this thing. The making something take extra damage, whoops. Silly me. Okay, let's make our raging cuddle bear. And then we need to find something to. Whoops. That's not what I want. Oh, yeah, that is what I want. Right. Oh, cuddle bear, you killed it before I could turn it into an undead servant. Come on. Oh, man. Alright. Wow. That was a lot of shots. I guess he shoots twice every time I move, so that makes sense. Right, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a bunch of these guys, because there's like a bunch of pulses out here, so might as well. Ouch. And there's the way down. Hmm. Should I go down right away? Let's explore at least a little bit of this area. All right, well, I got a ton of potions. There's a little ooze over there trying to hide from me. And my, I think my undead skeleton things have already died. Yeah, those really do not last very long at all. Alright, I guess I'll explore this place. I do want to level up. It makes all my stuff better. It lets me blow up some dungeons, hopefully. 
Taking a little bit of an easy road this time, not really challenging this class too much. I probably should though, it probably is the most overpowered of all the classes. But it's also, of as far as overpowered classes go, one that has, um, you know, something of a high risk of just dying suddenly if you find yourself surrounded without any of your minions, you can just die. Even though you're very powerful, that power takes time to build, like true necromancy I suppose. Jibber jabber. Alright. I'm pretty happy with how much I explored. There seems to be something up here, perhaps, but that's okay. We'll let that go, kind of hedge our bets. Okay, maybe I will try to get some pulses up here. Darn. They expired. Alright, well, we'll have a slow start. Only one pulse going into the next level. If you're playing smart, I suppose, you'd want to make sure you have four pulses each time. You don't want to risk finding a really hard enemy up front before you've had a chance to build your pulses up. Musty scent of worn in paper and worn leather. That's actually pretty good. Okay, you have to first make the hate glacier, then do the curse. That was wrong. I did the wrong thing. Well, sorry, no big deal. Discount skeleton. Not the best one. Powerful evil, you say? Guess it's over here? This powerful evil that you speak of? Nope. Just a healing potion. Right, it's a bunch of guys, but I think we should be okay. Let's try to get some collateral damage with detonations if I can. That worked well. Now they're all going up on the mostly that spawned from the corpse of their dead brethren. Man, that's gotta be freaky. Like, you and a bunch of lizards are hanging out. Some guy waggles his finger and one of your guys starts smoking. Suddenly explodes and you die. And then in its place, this thing shambles up. You try to kill it, then all of you explode and die. That's just a very, un very unhappy final moment for these lizards. Alright. Where do I go? Uh, I guess up. Aha. Nope. There's a door into a corner. If only I was the monk. I could call him the psychomancer. I could actually explode this corner and get in there. Instead, we're going to have to walk in there the old fashioned way. Ah, there's the library. So let's check each shelf. That's a pretty useless scroll. So far, that's another useless scroll. Combat blinking, hey, that's good. That's a useless one. Okay. So, bolster weapon, solid. Alright, so that's all we get. Does this have maximum enchantments? It does, okay. So we'll save the bolster weapon for later. This is a champion. 275 health, not too bad. Uh, just one tiny little champion. Oh, gotta remember. Okay. Oh, wait, I need two pulses to do that. Whoops. Right, so there's... You know what? It doesn't matter. It's gonna die before... Before I... It would have even mattered. Okay. Anything more to explore? That seems to be about all of it, actually. Small floor. Going down with full stock of pulses. Okay. Well, let's make a shield. Let's make my cuddle bear. Let's curse the one in the middle and then whack him and it should all die. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Brigand Fuminologist, that is a tough enemy. Since I've maxed out my pulses, I'm actually going to remake my Cuddle Bear because uh, it did get a little damage. Now it's got 300 health? Jeez. And I guess they do level up with you, so that's nice. It's important that you know the, the minions do level up with you somewhat 
so that they don't become obsolete at higher levels. It's just that when they're already very strong to begin with, the fact that they level up with you makes them even more incredible. How, how much do these have? 880 health? That's a lot. Okay, that's 10 to the powerful evil, so not a secret, just powerful evil. Or not. A trigger. No problem. Oh, we got frozen. That is a trigger's worst problem to have. That's a champion, isn't it? Yes, it is. Bone mail. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. One dead pulse. Then another one. Oh, it already died. <laughs> well, I really tried to use that ability. I really did. Oh, man. With those long animations, it's going to take half an hour. Okay, I will go back here. And kill that Trigger. Okay. Good. Now, back to business. Actually, I'm thinking with the Necromancer, one good... Oh, what the? That's, that's, that's an enemy. One good perk to take might be the... Um, one that makes more champions spawn because it's not like I'm having a problem killing champions ah okay so there's the ice ladies these are pretty tough let's see how they go with the necromancer not too bad who cares how much does it do when it explodes ah it doesn't say how much damage it says it detonates dealing poison damage well, I have to just assume it scales with your level. Why do I have to assume that? I don't have to, I just choose to. So it makes me a liar. Oh, so much poison. What's going on over here, Cuddle Bear? Oh, did you kill them already? Oh, who's my snookums? All right, yes, shield before door. Step forward, eat the pulse. Oh, what the heck just happened? I think it got rid of the curse. Yeah, it did. Freaking trixonometrist. Where's my cuddles? Oh, uh, is he back there? Hmm. Oh, he's back there. Ouch. My shield just went away. Oh, he. The trixonometrist is a thing. Trixonometrics is a thing that makes buffs get switched. Okay. So let's kill off the tiger. Grab the pulse. Step back. And I really need to kill Trixie Dixie over here. Okay, that that actually oh my god, that almost killed me. I took like 64 damage. Um Alright, let's step back. Good. Shield. Good. Mr. Cuddles is not very smart. But as long as Trixie Dixie is willing to stay away, I guess I'm fine with it. Oop, let me get this pulse. I don't want to get the pulses that are next to it. Alright, I really want to kill Trixie Dixie. So can I curse her? It. Oh my god. Okay, let me get some pulses. Ow! Oh jeez! Okay, this is this could be death because I was careless. I really shouldn't have been hanging around there, but we're gonna blink away back here. I'm poisoned. Okay, let's drink something to get rid of poisoned. Some kind of antidote, perhaps. Prevent poison. All right, do I have like something a little bit less severe than that? How about like an antidote, maybe? General purpose antidote. There we go. Okay. After that, let's drink a healing potion just to be totally safe. I got a bunch of them. 
Next, let's curse this thing. Man, that Trixonometrics thing really did a number on me. And it also killed Mr. Cuddles. All these pulses I'd love to have are beyond my reach. This could be trouble. 72 health. I should be able to kill it with my bow. Alright, so we killed the boss. Almost died because of just pure carelessness. Now, I need to kill off Trixie Dixie and get Mr. Cuddles back. Now, Trixie doesn't do too much damage, so I'm hoping I can just remake Mr. Cuddles. Uh, and then kill off Trixie Dixie. Shield back on here. That's fake. So did Trixie? That's fake too. No, that was a real one. Did Trixie Dixie die? I didn't see it. It could be that Cuddles shot her to death, and I just missed it. Damn, that was close. That would have been an embarrassing way to die because I really had no business dying there. That would have been a pure. Uh, Gameplay mistake. Alright, let me try cursing this. Just to see what that does. Well, nothing exciting, I guess. But I actually spent some of my mana for the first time in the history of this character. So that's cool. Alright, how much of this do I need to explore? Alright, there's still a little bit left. Although, really, I'd be better off just going into another dungeon and going and finding the boss and killing it. So let's go back up. Alright, that's mundane. Yeah, let's go into this dungeon next. The Citadel of Iron. Is there? Oh, I think there is. I feel as though one of my characters has died here. Well, let's see. Trixie comes out to play. I would be interested in playing this class again once they fix the uh, mana cost of the curse. Because it's only supposed to cost one pulse and some mana. Instead it costs all your pulses and no mana. Which is, is probably stronger overall, but I think it'd be more interesting to be able to play if you could like save up your pulses and then spend them all in a, in a, in a row. Here you can't really save them up unless you're doing that one ability, which is pretty much the main ability that you're going to use pulses on, anyway. Oh, we got an artifact here. Oh, that's an enemy. The Trixonometrix, whom I like to lovingly call Trixie Dixie, has the very irritating ability of changing buffs. So if you, like, curse if you curse the champion with something, the, the Trixie Dixie can just take the curse off and put it on one of your guys, or even on you, which is definitely not good. Alright, let's curse that. Pick up a, oh, pick up a pulse. Curse that. Pick up a pulse, curse that. Pick up a pulse. That is actually a champion carpenter bee, I think. Or no, it looks like it has a sword. There's the carpenter bee here. Oh, hang on. Let's go. All right, there go all my pulses. Alright, because this is a mundane dungeon, I am actually going to just take it quick and go down the stairs. Wow, that's a hell of a staircase to go down. Two of these fat dudes and then a couple of lizards. So let's um, explode that. And that. I need to pick up a pulse so I can curse this one. Pick up a pulse, curse, 
this one and shoot. Uh, I could teleport and pick up a potion. Sure, why not? Oh, my guys don't teleport with me. Right, that's why not. All right, well, we got a Mr. Cuddles. A pin to wind scroll, which I probably should have used in that last boss fight. Hey, my shambles found me. That's really touching. Didn't know you guys cared. Yeah. Alright, so we'll curse this one, because he's the quickest to die. Although the problem with that plan is that I don't get another pulse to use on these guys. Alright. We'll just whack him. Tense with a powerful evil, you say? I wouldn't know anything about that. The weird things that look really scary but actually aren't that big of a deal. Oh, there's some crazy stuff going down over there. But we'll just keep on plodding along over here. And that was two dead ends. Three dead ends out of three. Perfect. My favorite thing. Have I found the way down? I actually have not, so it must be through this last door, if I am not mistaken. Alright. I could start saving pulses at this point, but that seems a little bit foolhardy. It's not the end of the world to go to the next floor without pulses. So, we'll just keep it simple. Keep it safe. Oh, there's actually the Fuminologist over there. Yeah. But he dies. Good. This is a tier 2 artifact. So the artifacts are very simple. They, I thought they were very mysterious at first, but they're really not that mysterious. It's very simple. Basically, the gray ones give a future champion a random tier 1 item. The red ones give future champions random tier 2 items. And I don't actually think I've ever found any that give a random tier 3 item. But there seems to be one for each tier of item. Alright. I'm going to start saving up pulses because I have a feeling the down staircase is here. Uh, no, it's actually not. Alright. Away my pulses go. More Mr. Shambles. This is a pretty weak champion. I think I can take him. In fact, let's curse him. Oh, yeah. Good times. There are the downstairs. So I'm not going to use my pulses. At this point, I'd rather just save them. I don't know what the hell's going on down there, but I don't really need to be a part of it. Okay, what I'm going to do before I go down is actually quick take a quick look at my inventory, because there's possible that I actually found some better stuff at this point. Stamina cost for powers doesn't matter. 4% based health. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's better then 3%. Glad I got that. Furries, defense, don't need the spell power. Mana cost doesn't matter, of course. Battle Mage at Paulette's. All right, yeah, we'll just put them on, plain ones. It's a tier two. All right, do I have a better bow here? Got a bunch of tier twos unidentified. This one's pretty good because it freezes them in place. I have not found a tier 3 bow. This is a tier 1, unfortunately. This is a magical weapon that's a tier 2, same as the one I have, however, mine's already really good. It's the fiery burning everything one. The hammer's not quite as good, the sword's not quite as good. So yeah, I guess I'm good with the weapons until I find um, a tier 3, which I'm probably not going to in this dungeon. 
Let's turn a shield on. Make Mr. Cuddles. Get a shambly. Keep on trucking. Lots of doors over here. He died before I could curse him. That would be like a great necromancer tragic play. The tiger? I was just there. How did that even spawn there? Man, I guess enemies really will just like spawn right out of your line of sight. But with your shambles on the prowl, those like hardcore sleuths. You need not worry. Oops. Luckily, the ability does not get used if you click on an empty space by accident, so that's nice. Nice and forgiving. Lots of dead ends here. Something spawned. Oh, it's actually up there. Whatever. Victor Preacher Baxter. That's actually a champion. Where is this happening? Over here? Land sakes. Oh, so they actually went into a new place. Oh god, it's this thing. I really need to respect that. Alright, level up. I don't know if there's any more dungeons for me to blow up around here. Skill points. So I can get this thing for health drain. I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to do this either. We're going to branch out a little bit. So I can either go for this. I was thinking maybe going up to here to have a teleportation move. That'd be pretty cool. Or like a, just a powerful fire explosion move. This, These are both, however, area of effect. There's not really much single target out here. This is an interesting ability, though. You can swap status effects with another creature, so you can get rid of negative things. You can also take away buffs. So it's an interesting one to try to go for. This would be an interesting route to take. The decoy is obviously totally useless because uh, all the summons that I have serve as decoys. I could also go down the archery road. So this is an interesting power here where you can jump away. I would actually like to have a movement power, so that's an interesting consideration. I could go for more light armor. This um, makes it so when, when enemies hit you, they take a little bit of damage back, and this makes it so that you can uh, put on a shield that resists magic damage. I will try the archery route. This seems fun. So, realistically, I'm just never going to use this thing. The detonating of the death, dead pulse. So we're just... Although I, oh, I could. Why don't I do it? Why wouldn't I do this? If You know, when, when dead pulses spawn around champions and I can't pick them up, why wouldn't I just detonate them? Oh, that's right, because they don't do any damage yet. So to prevent my bar from filling up with crap, let's just put that there. So now I've got like a little jumping move. Which is nice. How are you doing on health, big boy? 300 out of 300 is what I like to see. Oh, shield dies at the worst possible time. Curse him. He dies. Curse him. He dies. Let's just pick up treasure. While my guys do all the work. Got the downstairs. That is a slime. Oh, why did I spend my pulses? I'm about to go downstairs. How silly of me. We got a triple tiger up there. I don't really care if all my most of these die because I'm about to get new ones since we're about to go down to the next floor. I will go kill this tiger. So I get a third pulse. All right, well, this is the floor that's got to have the thing. So let's make a shield, put out Mr. Cuddles. So this Trixie Dixie switched with me and now has a shield. Let me go pick up a pulse. Trixie Dixie died. Oh, that's a satisfying moment. I got to say, those... Oh, my God. Two champions and one pointy tooth and a wiggle bell. They both have a lot of health. All right. It's looking a little scary. Let's do this one. 
I probably shouldn't have done that one. Okay, it's gonna die. That's good. I'm gonna get out of here. Alright, they're going after the mostly that I left in there while this guy is chucking icicles. That's a good that's a good system. Let's curse that one. Oh my god, I just died. Oh well that was sad. Oh my god, that was so sad. Ah uh, yeah, I should have put my shield back on, although I was out of stamina, so I'm not sure I could, but I definitely shouldn't have been standing in the door like that. Those bees do hit for a lot of damage. So even the most overpowered characters can fall if you are not careful. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and or subscribe. And I'll see you again soon with some more Dungeon Mans. Take care.